Welcome to TechNow. I'm your host, John Reed, also CEO of Capital Alliance. And we're pleased to have with us this morning, Steve Sutherland, the CEO of Crosswing. We're working with Crosswing on an outreach for partners and investors. So Steve, maybe the first question, what's Crosswing all about? And what are your in investment collaboration interests? We're, Crosswing's about the aging population fundamentally. At, at a higher level, um, we look at the demographics in Canada, we look at the demographics in the U.S. By 2036, for example, there will be 25% of Canadians that are seniors. So what does that mean? Well, that means we're going to need additional help because there's not going to be enough people in the population to work with us. So we got into the robotics business to ultimately produce robots that will help people in their daily lives. And that takes us into a variety of different other channels, but our thrust was robots that would help people. And I actually have here, probably hard to see it with the camera, but I have a little miniature virtual me. Uh, it has an omni wheel base. There's three wheels. It has usually a tablet in the top. Typically has a mirror dome right here. This, this dome um, sees 360 degrees. So this is our first product, but we actually, in our lab here, we have uh, robotic arms and a bunch of other really cool things for condos and, and uh, uh, and essentially, all, everything you'd need to live independently longer in your life. So that's Steve, in a nutshell. Steve, Steve I, I want one. <laughs> <laughs> I could have used one a year ago. I was in the hospital. I was quite sick, and it was one of those things. I was witnessing a bunch of elderly people trying to, you know, basically trying to be independent. And and there were so many opportunities for for robots in that space. Steve, I really relate to that, you know, having had aging parents and, and also understanding our own needs going forward. It's a, it's a big market and it's a big boost to quality of, of living. So I understand that uh, you're interested in, in really looking outward to investors and partners, collaborators. Can you tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, what you're, what you're interested in to, to gain some leverage to advance your whole, you know, core mission? Well, we're, we, we started in 2006, and that probably seems hard, hard to believe. Um, that was eight years ago now, and at the time, I said, I'll fund the company for the first three years. And uh, myself and the other two partners at Crosswing had started other tech companies. We sold our last one to Best Buy, so we understand the consumer space. Um, we understand the need for a, basically the next generation of exciting appliance. You know, typically people will buy a TV, they'll buy a... Um, everyone in, in, in their kitchens has a microwave and a dishwasher. Um, none of those are really assistive devices. So our goal was to found Crosswing, partner with a variety of universities. So in other words, we have University of Waterloo, University of Toronto, York University. And these aren't just universities that are co collaborating in some loosey-goosey way. They actually have our robots running there. Um, UOIT, McGill, I'm sure I've forgotten someone. Uh, <laughs> we're about to do another collaboration with Ottawa. So they're all running our robots on a daily basis. And the goal then is to take that, the sum of that technology, all that, that really exciting application functionality, and release it on a common platform. So in other words, as opposed to just selling a robot that's a closed system, we're focusing on, on a platform like the IBM PC or the Apple II was at the beginning. So coming back to your question, from an investor perspective, this isn't a short-term, you know, put some money in, you know, Facebook's going public, let's put a billion dollars in there and make a quick turnaround. Um, or there's some app that's going to be sold tomorrow for, for, you know, $500 million. This is actually building a company and a skill set that will serve a population that is aging. So this we're looking for really longer-term investors, um, deep-pocket investors, to put, you know, I, I was I was showing you this earlier, but to put this guy, and, and believe me, there's you can go to our website, you can see there are um, versions of Virtual Me that are on there at different universities. Some of them are unclad. Some of them have arms, in fact. But to put this robot onto the market requires a minimum of $5 million additional capital. We've, we've consumed about uh, $6 million to date. Um, but ideally, it would be a $15 million to $20 million investment. So that would enable us to put the platform out to cultivate more developers. And believe me, on a daily basis, we have developers interested. Um, and then um, support the, the users. This is modular. I'm not going to take this one apart because <laughs> this is a little model. But it's designed like a vacuum cleaner. So you can actually take the base. Once you own this base, 
component, you can you, you own that much like a vacuum. You've got your canister. If you want to replace the hose, you can. If you want to replace the vision system, you can. If your tablet changes, you replace the top part. So the type of best investor we're really looking for is either a um, you know a high net worth individual, and I'm talking about somebody that's thinking about uh, a triple bottom line organization. It's it, people are key to what we're doing, and it's exciting. I you know I was one of the first guys in desktop publishing. To sort of take it aside here for a moment, and back then I was working with HP. They launched a the LaserJet. It was my software, actually mine and a buddy of mine. Um, and we went we went worldwide with them, showing what laser printing could do. And it was a fun business. I learned a lot. I was in my 20s, you know, bought the Corvette. But the difference, and then and then we did photo sharing, and I was chair of IIP. That's the Internet Imaging Protocol. You might know that in terms of uh, Google Maps when you scroll. That's also but the difference with Crosswing is, is we're actually building something that's going to help people. So when we spent, for example, 18 days at the Canadian National Exhibition from 10 in the morning to 10 at night with people walking by, seeing our robots driving in the crowd, we got more heartfelt, oh, I could really use this. You know, my mom fell the other day, and, and I didn't know that she was there, and, and I was phoning her. I thought she was out. I didn't know, boy, if I had this robot, I would have been able to see her. So the type of investor we're looking for is somebody who's, looking beyond you know the, the quick flip Facebook. They're actually looking for a, a solution to help the population and they're willing to truly be a patient in, investor. Sorry, sorry for a long answer there. <laughs> no, Steve, you know, passion is so important. You're painting uh, a very uh, a positive innovation future in, in a key area. Again, for our viewers, we've attached the communique, which give all, gives all the coordinates, some additional background papers. So Steve Sutherland, CEO of Crosswing, thank you for joining TechNow, and I hope you find a great partner to do a great initiative. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it.